Hello everybody, my name is Chris Truman and I'm part of the products team here at Tricentis. And today what I'd like to talk about is how we de-risk our enterprise app integrations. I'd like to cover three topics with everyone today. First, to reinforce why we believe that testing is an incredibly powerful tool to help us deliver enterprise application innovation. For me, quality is a function of both process and data but with our ever increasing reliance on the data that our integrated enterprise applications produce, we really need to be mindful of the integrity of that data. So I'd like to spend a few moments talking about that. Before finally trying to do my level best to predict the future and get it right by considering new sources of innovations and how we can future-proof our enterprise applications to accommodate those and what that will mean for the future of testing. And we need to frame all of that within the context of the digital transformations that are underway in all of our organizations. And what we observe is that there are four key themes or challenges that CIOs and their teams are faced with. The first, how do we increase release velocity? While at the same time, trying to reduce the cost of delivery. And since we're talking about this suite of enterprise applications that we've worked so hard to integrate, we need to be mindful of how we de-risk changes in those environments and always working to deliver high quality outcomes in production. Now, the good news is that customers are achieving this today. Here's one example that I've drawn from our consumer products customers, where using Tricentis Live Compare, they've been able to increase their release velocity by eight times, going from 11 to an incredible 88 releases per year. If we think about innovation for a moment, simplistically, it's about taking ideas and bringing them to market. Now, if we get a little bit more specific and think about our enterprise applications, we need some way to organize all of our efforts in terms of how we transform those ideas into working software running in production. Now, throughout the history of software development, there have been lots of different ways for us to organize our efforts. But today, the current established best practice is some form of agile DevOps. Now, my particular focus is on the role of testing to support that. And I do truly believe that testing is a very powerful tool to help us achieve our aims with our enterprise apps. Now, it's not just me saying this. I've drawn from the most recent World Quality Report, where just looking at some of the words that are used to describe the role of testing, I think reinforces this idea of how it supports innovation. Things like contribute to business growth and business outcomes, or ensuring end user satisfaction and customer experience. And then as we move to the top three, looking at things where people have ref reflected on those existential uh, events of last year, things like quality at speed, speeding up the software delivery process with good quality, tying that back to those key challenges that CIOs and their teams are now faced with. I especially like the first of these where it's about supporting everybody in the team to achieve higher quality. So software quality testing for me means about answering three important questions. First, what's a test? And then does it work? And finally, does it scale? When we think about those questions, it's worth digging into how enterprise applications are tested today. From our own observations, what we see is that the majority of customers rely on their key users to test the changes that they're making. Now, this has one very clear advantage, namely that our key users understand how those systems support our business processes better than anyone else. However, there are some disadvantages. First, and I know I'm stating the blindingly obvious, it's not their day job. And so as a consequence, what we find is we have to have a risk mitigation process put in place because we have to deal with defects that show up in production. And that risk mitigation process is known as hypercare. With hypercare in software, just as like in the biological equivalent, it's now a life or death situation. And so we bring together our most talented resources from key users, development, operations, and their job is to fix the defects as quickly as possible. 
Now, there's not just a high cost associated with this because we're relying on our most talented resources. There can also be implications for the reputation with our business partners and customers. On an individual level, if you've ever been part of a hypercare team, you'll know that sustaining that level of intensity can be very hard to do. And of course, while all of our great resources are tied up on hypercare, the backlog continues to grow. So what actually happens is that we build this incredibly powerful engine to deliver innovation in our enterprise applications. And then we stick this enormous limiter on the engine. Some of the uh, case studies that I've read online talk about how a one month project extends into three months because of two months of hypercare. Well, now a release means we can do four releases a year. That's far from 11 and certainly a long way from the 88 that our customers are achieving. So what can we do to eliminate hypercare, to basically remove that limiter from this incredibly powerful engine? Well, at Tricentis, what we offer is a way to integrate dev and ops for optimized testing. And we do that through a set of capabilities that we call change impact analysis. With change impact analysis, we're going to ingest all of the changes that have happened in development. And we're going to combine that with all of the data that we've extracted from production that tells us what's actually being used to support our business processes. And then through an analysis of that data, we will answer the question, what to test automatically. We will identify the most at risk capabilities that we must test.